I know you might prefer not to be in this class. Or maybe you would just prefer to be asleep. Or chowing down on your snacks for the day. But today we will be talking about the career of veterinary sciences and I promise it will be perfect. Not that long ago, cats, dogs, rabbits, and other domestic animals weren't cared for by a veterinarian like we think about today. The very first known veterinary practices were in 9000 BC in the Middle East. Those who herded sheep practiced a rudimentary form of medicine to treat their flocks and the dogs helping herd them. Thousands of years later, in 4000 BC, the Egyptians developed practices to care for their cats, fowl, and dogs. Getting even closer to our time in 1900 BC, Hindu texts outlined the field of animal medicine in their culture. In fact, it wasn't until the early 1900s that pets began to more commonly receive medical care. Horses actually were the primary focus of this veterinary medical care due to the fact that they also served as the transportation. Remember, we didn't have cars very long ago. The study of veterinary medicine was born in 1760 when Claude Borgelat established the very first school of veterinary medicine in Lyon, France. Britain was soon to follow with the Odeham Agricultural Institute and became the very first to apply the scientific principle to the treatment of animals. In America, it wasn't until 1863 that a school was established. This school was the American Veterinary Medical Association. Schools were also soon established in Boston, New York, and Philadelphia. The goal of these schools was to oversee veterinary medicine and its practices. Even the Food and Drug Administration added a veterinary medical branch in 1965 to oversee veterinarian pharmaceuticals. This branch later became known as the Center of Veterinary Medicine or the CVM. Over the years, we have made so many advancements in vet technology. We now have x-rays, ultrasounds, MRIs, and advanced lab tests. We even have hip replacement surgeries and laparoscopic surgeries for our animals. There are so many different types of vets, as you can see listed here. Some of the really cool ones are emergency and critical care, where veterinary specialists work exclusively in both emergency rooms and intensive care units to care for animals, the sickest of the sick. Internal medicine also includes different specialties of vets, from cardiology, internal medicine, to neurology, even oncology. In addition, there's microbiology and veterinarians who specialize in research, teaching, and diagnosis of infectious diseases in our animals. This can include things like virology, parasitology, and bacteriology. Other types of vets you may not have known existed are ophthalmology, veterinary specialists who study diseases and conditions of the eyes. In addition, there's preventative medicine where veterinary specialists improve animal human and environmental health through surveillance and recognition of outbreak investigations and management of animal diseases. Finally, there's even sports medicine, helping animals return to normal function after a disease or illness. There are also so many other careers that work with animals also, and we'll talk about a couple of those today. Here are seven great careers for those who love animals. We have talked about the job of being a vet already, but let's dive into the other ones. Marine mammal trainers are responsible for medical care, training, feeding, and maintenance of animals. They even work to ensure the mammals have daily physical and mental enrichment opportunities as well as social interactions. Wildlife rehabilitators work with sick, injured, or orphaned wild animals with the goal of releasing them into the wild once they are healthy enough to survive. These individuals work under a veterinarian's guidance and they need extensive knowledge of a variety of species. Many of these individuals learn their skills from volunteering at rehabilitation centers. There is even one of these centers in Murphy, Texas called the North Texas Wildlife Center. Remember seeing all those movies like Narnia and Life of Pi that have animals in them? 
Well, those animals have to be trained and taken care of. Animals are used in movies, TV shows, commercials, and photography all the time. And movie animal trainers spend each day working with their animals, preparing them for days on the set. One piece of advice in this field is try not to let your animal eat the set. Racehorse trainers, as you may have guessed from the name, work with horses. This job is to keep a horse healthy, working out properly, and planning for a race, just like a regular human athlete. Service animal trainers work with animals from when they are young to teach them to perform tasks on behalf of a person with a disability. For example, a service dog can be trained to help someone who is blind get around safely. They can be trained for someone with a mobility disability to provide them with support and to even detect a seizure or low blood sugar in an individual as well. Finally, last but not least, zookeepers work with all different types of animals. They clean and maintain animal enclosures, administer medication and assist veterinarians, and write care guidelines for animals. Some famous animal experts are Dr. Temple Grandin, shown here on the left. She is a world-renowned veterinary expert in animal restraint, handling, and behavior. She has written several books on animal handling and was even featured in her own movie on HBO. In addition, on the right is Jane Goodall, who is considered to be the world's foremost expert on chimpanzees. She is best known for her 60-year study of wild chimps in Tanzania. Another animal expert you may all be familiar with is crocodile hunter Steve Irwin who is a hugely popular Australian television personality and conservationist. He also co-owned and operated the Australia Zoo for many years. The number of U.S. veterinary jobs by 2028 will be 18% higher than it was in 2018. This robust growth will allow a lot of new jobs for your generation. This is much better than the average specialty of U.S. professions since the average projected growth rate across other fields is only 5%. Generally speaking, it takes about 8 to 10 years from when you graduate high school to become a vet. After completing an initial four-year bachelor degree program, it takes an additional four years of veterinary school to become a doctor of veterinary medicine or DVM and obtain a licensure to practice in your state. If you wish, to concentrate on a specific area, such as cardiology, neurology, you'll need an additional two years to do specialized training. Veterinarian starting salaries are about 60,000 a year and move up based on how many years of experience you have. In addition, some of the other jobs we talked about, such as marine biologists, zoologists, and those who work with animal nutrition earn around the same salary. There are many important qualities that you should have if you're thinking about becoming a vet. It is important to have an ability to handle emotional and physical stress, the ability to work with people and of course with animals, clear decision-making skills and an intellectual curiosity and dedication to your field. All of these are defining attributes that help someone become an outstanding veterinarian. In addition, there are other jobs that get to work with veterinarians that don't require as much schooling. Veterinary technicians work under the supervision of a veterinarian and may also provide extensive treatment such as dental care and specialized nursing care. Some of the jobs that vet techs do are to observe animals' conditions, collect laboratory samples, perform laboratory exams, administer vaccines and medications, bathe animals, take and develop x-rays of the animals, and provide emergency care. 16% job growth through 2029 is expected for this job, and the average salary is about 33000 a year. There are two types of vet techs, veterinary technicians and veterinary technologists. Technologists typically need a four-year bachelor's degree, whereas veterinary technicians usually only have to have a two-year degree. Earning an associate's degree can be a good first step to enter this field. It allows you to enter the workforce sooner and enter at an entry-level job. 
If you decide to pursue more education later, there are always lots of opportunities to continue and move up to become a technologist. In addition, most states will require you to pass a veterinary technician national examination administered by the American Association of Veterinary State Boards to ensure that you know your job before you start. There are a lot of great veterinary schools in Texas. Number one ranked is Texas A&M University at College Station and offers a four-year veterinary science degree program. It's a large public university that remains in a small city, and in 2015, 133 students graduated in the area of veterinary science, with students earning 129 doctoral degrees and four master's degrees. Second in the state is Tarleton State University, which offers one veterinary science degree program, and it's a medium-sized public university in a small town as well. Finally, Pima Medical Institution in Houston offers two different veterinary science degree programs. It is a small private college in a very large city of Houston, and in 2015, 66 students graduated in their study of veterinary sciences with students earning 63 certificate degrees and three associate degrees. Now we are going to do an activity. It's entitled, What on Earth Did the Dog Swallow? You'll be given 15 seconds to look at each image and decide what this dog has managed to swallow. Well, I hope that game was fun. Thank you everyone for joining us on our adventure through veterinary medicine. We'll see you again soon.